How's it going, gents? Here again at McDonald's. What all my videos start at McDonald's, man? Getting getting food for my my girlfriend, soon to be wife, in like 18 days. Oh, it's coming up so quick. I still got so much to do. Man, I should really be sponsored by McDonald's, man. I'm here like every bloody day. But actually, I do have a sponsor today. Uh, not McDonald's, unfortunately, but it is Vikings War of Clans. Uh, it's a mobile strategy game. There's like 10 million people playing it. It's really fun, man. It's like one of those early 90s, 2000s games, like a Age of Empires uh, or Warcraft 3. Uh, and uh, it's pretty cool, man, because it's on your phone. So like those games you have to play on your computer and stuff. I had a really bad computer back in the early 90s and 2000s and like struggled to play Age of Empires. So it's so good to be able to play on your phone at work and stuff. Um, yeah, there's like 10 million people playing it. I'm playing it, I'm writing with Tom. Uh, I, I couldn't go all writing with Tom because there's only 12 characters. Um, but it's fun, man, you get to play different ways. Like I myself am kind of a baby at these games, so I just build like impregnable forces with like towers and stuff. And um, uh, I'm not very good at just like destroying cities and stuff, but that's how you can play it if you're tough. I'm not, I'm a baby. So I want to thank Vikings War of Clans for sponsoring this video, allowing me to get McDonald's every single day. Uh, support my channel, download Vikings using the links below. Uh, you'll also get a free protection shield and my special gift of 200 gold uh, to get you off for a fast and successful start. Uh, come battle me, I'm riding with Tom. I'm terrible, you'll defeat me really easily. Anyway, let's keep going. Start up this pretty little Daytona 675R. Oh yeah, begin. So gents, lots of stuff happening. I just got back, I'm, I'm a bit sick right now. I just got back from my Bucks party. Oh, it was messy. Oh, lots of stuff happened that we'll never speak of. Uh, I was up in Gold Coast, my Bucks party, had a laugh. I've just gone into a nothing street. We rented 50cc two-stroke scooters and just bombed the beach every day. It was great. I'll, I'll throw in some some video of us on the scooters just being idiots. Get out, get out, yeah, let's go boys, let's do it. Righty gents, here we are. Gold Coast on the Plagio 50cc scooter, two-stroke. We're going to be testing out its performance, its uh, suspension capabilities, its braking. Uh, it's going to be a detailed review. Let's do it, lads. Horn is the most important item on this. Alright, gents. Tom's got the cute girl. Go, ladies! Get some vape dash going on. Yeah, yeah brother. Vape dash. <laughs> it's hard. Heel clickers! Ready for the launch of the launch of the friggin' preloading, preloading. Oh, good tuck! Good tuck! Here all the time. Oh no! It looks like power to weight ratio wins! <laughs> Daytona man, they can love it. But yeah, good times at my uh, Bucks party. I got my wedding coming up very soon. Freaking me out. I'm also doing something really big that I don't think I could tell you guys yet. But it involves uh, that big bike show going on in Italy right now. 
E-I-C-M-A, I believe it is. I'm doing something for that. Can't tell you what it is, but it's pretty amazing. Probably the biggest thing I've ever done for YouTube. But, hell, look at these bikes coming out, man. That Ducati V4, Panigale V4. That thing looks amazing. The front of it, oh, I don't know about the front of it though. Kind of looks like the Super Sport, which I'm not a big fan of. Do you like the Ducati Super Sport? I think it looks like a bit like an elephant bike at the front. I'm hoping I need to see the Panigale V4 in person to see if it looks like that or if it, or if it doesn't. But that engine's gonna sound amazing. <laughs> Freak, I love this little bike, man. So talky down low. It's not like any other 600. Not like a Jap 600. I couldn't do little like little like <laughs> fun wheelies like that. Could never do that on a Jap 600. Um, yeah, it's Caddy 959 Corsa. That's pretty cool, man. I wasn't expecting that. It's been a while since they've done like a like a high spec mid-range bike but I guess because they kind of they want to keep the L twin can I go down there I don't know where I'm going they kind of want to keep like the a good L twin I guess a 959 they're saying it's gonna be like 150 something horsepower so that should keep up with like some Jap leader bikes and shit new Africa twin Africa twin with like a bigger fuel tank, uh, taller suspension, um, some protection and stuff. It's pretty cool, man. So there's a lot of new stuff coming out, man. Um, everything's, everything's happening. It's getting exciting, man. Man, I swear though, that 959 Panigale, like. Um, I'm not actually a huge fan of the colour scheme of it right now. I know some of my mates are just absolutely loving it. The kind of white and red. I'll throw a picture of it up. I just love the the good suspension on it and stuff. Like the 959, oh the oh, you know the old 899 959 didn't have the best of um you know, just top tier suspension. It just had a normal kind of shoulder setup. But for an Olin setup. <laughs> I would be down for that. But I'm not allowed to buy a motorcycle until after my wedding. I just bought this Daytona. I do love this Daytona. Let's stop and look at this Daytona for one second. Because I just think it is the prettiest. Even though it's dirty. Even dirty, I think she's pretty. She's a pretty little bike. Pretty little triple sound. <laughs> Good man, it's a good bike. Good road bike, man. But I would like a uh, Panigale, maybe a V4. Maybe I'll see if I can take all my wedding presents and sell them, and sell everything I own, and buy the new Ducati V4. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. That sounds like a good, wise investment. Buy a first generation Ducati with an all new motor. Surely that's not gonna have any issues. <laughs> I don't know. Ducati's are pretty good right now with Audi and stuff, so uh, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, gents, it is a quick video today just before I die of a sickness. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the new bikes coming out. Um, I just instinctively pulled back into McDonald's. I've got McDonald's in my backpack. I have to go home and give it to my my girlfriend, I just came back here. I'm just I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with McDonald's, man. Just wanted to talk about new bikes, show some of our cool, like, uh, footage from, from Gold Coast. There is something really big coming on soon, very soon, I promise. Uh, very awesome, cool video of something cool happening very soon. Until then, I'm gonna freaking go home and die. Blech.
sounding FTO I've ever heard. I don't think I've ever heard a good sounding FTO to be honest. <laughs> 